This is a 2008 Lexus GX470 with a 4.7 liter V8. <laughs> Lots of power. This vehicle features a third row of seats for extra seated capacity and also a rear latch that opens from the side for easy accessibilities. This vehicle also has some other nice features like sideways stepping areas and also a lot of headroom for easy access. And even looking at the front bumper, we can see that it's very clean. Nothing has no bumps, no bruises, no bugs even. It's a very, very clean addition. And this is what we're going to review next. Okay, so now we're inside the car and I'm giving you a look around to see the richness of the interior. I mean, this interior, it definitely has some very nice things to it. There's unfortunately um, maybe a couple bottles there that we have but I mean look at the like leather the quality of the leather leather there there's the uh, separate high low and normal uh, shifter there which actually is nice because it shows you there but there's also correspondence right there for you to know at all times and keep your attention on if you're on high and low uh, you know this stereo system is very typical of Lexus of the period this ran for a very long time it's something very easy and clean to look at. Again, what I love, and you guys are going to hear me say this over and over again, is these buttons. Nice, hard buttons, but they're not going to tear apart. They're not going to scratch off. They didn't overthink it. They're made very well, and they're going to last for a long time. I love the durability of that. Um, up here, I was wondering where that was, is your uh, trip counter and your modes for your, you probably can't see it in the light, but your range. Um, which I can see fine from here so it's it's just washed out a little bit in the screen you have over here your uh, settings for your driver uh, seating modes and you also have a little array of different buttons down here which go from heated mirrors now this is an AC I've never seen this before 115 volt wow that's cool the, this really be thing is for your mirrors believe it or not I don't think you really because look how big the mirrors are you're not gonna have to really move those around but so much and that's that's really cool because you know the most irritating thing about my wife's car is every time I get in it the mirrors and stuff are so small we have to adjust it one way adjust another way adjust it back and forth and we don't have these nice memory settings which I'm pretty sure also include the memory on the mirror positions also so that's nice um this here is for trailering and of course that is for your interior illumination the brightness level um Again, let's uh, kind of move out a little bit and let's take a look around a little bit further. Again, look at this wood dash steering wheel. Very nice uh, touch. Oop, lost the camera there. Uh, but it uh, also isn't cracked at all. And then you also have some, oh, other settings. I didn't realize that. So maybe it actually does. So this does have the air suspension ride control modes here. You have a comfort and sport. Now it's definitely in sport. On the way back, we're going to try sport mode instead of comfort and see what it feels like. You have an aux jack. Very important from this period of time. And your seat warmers right here in the middle. All right, let's let's come out. It's very interesting. I see here this way Lexus did this chrome uh, piece over the speakers. I mean, and you look, there's an array of speakers on this door. There's one at the bottom, one here, one there. I mean, you got another set over there. I mean, that's six speakers all together right initially. Now, as we look out here, we look at the seats. The seats are in very good condition. Uh, you know, there's just a little bit of of wear here, but I want to I want to tell you guys about something. Even on my Mercedes, when I first got it, uh, there was a little bit of wear. But what you do is you go to Leather World, and you actually it'll let you figure out exactly per your your color, your car, your year, the color that you're, you're supposed to have, and you actually can fill that back in. It's just color because if you look here, the seat itself is still in good condition. There's no major cracks or repairs. Here's the back seat. Um, again, this was the one that she is usually driving, so this does uh, have some things in it. But the back seats look very good. There's the center console with some different options. Um, low, high uh, uh, fans and the temperature control, so those are very nice. Ample headroom. I mean, look at the headroom here. And as we move around, we see this big, huge, delicious rear panel. Uh, latch. Let's see, how do we open this? Right. Oh, big old, uh, look at that. That's a nice handle, big, nice handle you can use. And boom. This opens up sideways. See that? And it reveals a third row of seats in case you need it. But then you still have space here to uh, put anything that you need to travel along with or take with you. So you want to keep that in mind. Where you going? And I'm going to try the seat test. Again, I've mentioned before, I'm 6'2", 220 plus 
pounds. It is a little bit tighter, believe it or not, in this back seat. But I really think that that front seat has moved back a little bit too far. And I think that uh, there is just some knee room issues because the seat is uh, leaned back a little far. But very nice leather. Very nice leather. The, yep, the seat was just back. Look at that. The seat's just way back too far. I'm way back here. Uh, and we see everything looks pretty good. So we come to the there. We'll close that. And we'll just go around the front before we pop the hood. All right. Here we have that big V8, 32 valve V8 that's sitting on here. And it's not much to see. Quiet though, can you hear it? You really can. It's very, very quiet. And that's an excellent sign. This thing is, is running smooth. I mean, it's, it's not hardly moving at all. And the reason why it's covered up so much is Lexus is telling you, you don't have to do anything. Everything's gonna keep running. Of course you can remove these plastic pieces and see more. But it's just a demonstration to show you, you will not need to be under this hood very much. Lexus Toyota, the most reliable brand for many years. One thing that is very excellent and funny to note, I can't believe that the uh, opener for the gas cap is way down here. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. We're in the 2008 GX 470 Lexus, all the way in sport mode in the transmission. <laughs> We're going to give this a shot. So earlier when I was driving, I was in comfort mode and didn't realize it. I was wondering why it, there was so much bounce to the car and uh, just travel to the suspension. And uh, I thought, hmm, would I like that? Would I not like it? Generally, I like bounce or I like soft suspension. I'm just not a big bounce kind of guy. I don't bounce, 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 you know, bow, wow, soft. No, I don't like to bounce a lot. Um, and immediately, I can already tell a difference. It's a lot more compliant, a lot more responsive, uh, which is what I look for. I mean, you got to remember with these SUVs, you have so much suspension or so much, uh, not suspension, but uh, sidewall in your wheels. That absorbs a lot of the bumps. And so then when you have a really soft suspension setting on top of it, it really does make you feel like you're floating around. You can apply a little bit of power. Let's see mid-range. It's interesting. Um, it, the, the power is is a little bit either on or off. Um, I did not, you know, one time before, as you saw, I did floor it, and uh, it it went bonkers. But uh, see, there you go. There's there it is. The pedal uh, will be something I would say is a little bit different, which is fine because, you know, some people don't want to have a very nervous pedal. I don't know if you've ever been in a car with a nervous pedal before, but it just feels like you can't ever just cruise you know it's either on or off on or off on or off and that's you know that's something that's not associated with smooth driving um but this car does definitely feel like it has a smoother characteristic now in sport mode i think i like the car a lot more uh to be honest with you it uh it still is very soft over the bumps i'm not feeling any of the junctures but i'm not getting a lot of the the sway and the bounce back and forth which is nice that's a great option you know, unfortunately, guys, I can't really take these cars off-road because I am just test driving them. I can't test the four-wheel drive process. I am just getting started uh, with this division of the channel. Um, and plus, I'm really not an off-roader. I, I don't know how to. <laughs> I drive cars, and I, and I like to drive them on the street. Um, but I'm driving this car basically as, in most situations, how it will be driven, which is on the, on the, on the ways, on the highways, or on the roads, going to see or pick up kids or going to a soccer practice or something of that nature. Although I would think that um, you might be a little bit older uh, than for soccer practice in this car. I think this is a little bit more of an established vehicle. Uh, I had magnetic ride control in my Volvo S60R and uh, the ride was a lot harsher. It could, and the, the characteristics changed to a much larger degree when um, when you switch from like comfort to advanced mode. I know that some Corvettes and some other vehicles use it. Whereas with the airbag system, I really don't think you notice the difference. Uh, the difference is smaller, um, but
but you don't get the overall complete harshness out of the ride. The airbags are still there. And so I think that in my personal opinion, I would prefer the airbag suspension or the air suspension over anything else. And here we are again, just in a bit of traffic. Again, oh, this foot well. I gotta tell you, this uh, foot rest in this car is the perfect angle. I mean, your foot just sits over there. It's like a natural resting position. It's like, you know, when you fall asleep on your back in your bed and your foot just rests in a certain area. That's the way this foot well, or this, uh, this foot rest is. It's just totally natural. And I've been, again, in large SUVs, large SUVs that have much worse foot rest, I tell you. The, the brakes are... Um, are very strong and adequate. Um, there's not a lot of progression in them, I would say. Um, it's it's kind of on or off, um, but I still feel very confident about them. And let's just talk about the steering wheel for a second. I like sometimes having a thinner wheel. People might call me crazy because everybody talks about these thick bolsters, and of course this is not a race car, but there's something about a nice wood grain steering wheel that's not over ostentatious or anything. What else? At this point in the video, you see me talking a little bit, but in fact, I'm just trying to stay awake. This car is so soft and it's so compliant. It literally will put you to sleep. I mean, everything about the car just uh, exudes luxury, calmness, the accelerated pedal is just very nice and even linear. The steering is very compliant also. So I'm I'm talking, but I'm literally looking at my eyes. Look at them. Look at them. I'm about to fall asleep any moment because this thing is so supple. It really reminds me of a Toyota Avalon around 2008, 2009. Every time I drive home, I'm just barely trying to keep my eyes open because the thing just floated. It felt so comfortable. And this is the case with this car. And again, if you are interested in this vehicle, this 2008 Lexus GX 470 4x4 with 137, well, 140 now at this point, miles on it, you can contact uh, right here, www.pltauto.com, or you can call this number, 313-582-0202. I hope you enjoyed it.